Portuguese finger food called Impaginha has a savory pastry filled with a sweet, spicy and tangy poke. Hi, you're watching Plating It With Wendy where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. Impaginias make a perfect snack that you can enjoy warm straight out of the oven. So let's get started. We're going to start by making the short crust pastry dough. For that we're going to go in with 450 grams of all-purpose flour and I'm using a chill bowl which I had kept in the refrigerator and this is going to help us get a better pastry dough. And for a touch of sweetness we're going to add two teaspoons of finely ground white granulated sugar and to that we're going to add quarter teaspoon of salt. Just going to give this a quick whisk so that all the dry ingredients gets well mixed together. To the dry ingredients we're going to be adding 225 grams of unsalted butter which is frozen and we're just going to grate it so that it's easier to incorporate into the flour without melting the butter. Now let's add the butter to the flour mix. You could even do this in the food processor. In that case you don't need to grate the butter, just add it into your food processor and the food processor will do the job. With clean fingers, we're gonna go in and mix the butter with the flour and we're gonna be quick here because we don't want the heat from our hands melting the butter. We're gonna mix it till we get a sand-like texture. This looks just perfect. And now to enhance the flavor and also to get a nice soft dough, we're gonna go in with four egg yolks and I've taken the eggs straight out of the refrigerator so that they're nice and chilled. Just gonna give this a quick whisk to break up the egg yolks. To the egg yolks, I'm adding one tablespoon of chilled water. And this is just to loosen up the egg yolk so that it mixes well with the flour and the butter. Now let's add this in. I'm gonna give this a quick mix. Okay, I think this looks just right. Now it's time to go in with our fingers again. And now to bring the dough together, we're gonna to go in with some ice chilled water. And we're gonna go in with just one tablespoon at a time. And once again, with our clean fingers, we're gonna go in to bring the dough together. Very gently, because we don't want that butter melting. We're gonna keep pressing it together so that we form a nice dough. And there's another tablespoon going in. I think we need to put another one. Now this is what the dough should look like when it comes together. I added five tablespoons of water while kneading the dough and we had added one tablespoon of water to the egg yolk. So we've added all together six tablespoons of water. We're going to wrap the dough in a plastic wrap and place it in the refrigerator to relax while we prepare the filling. To prepare our filling, we're going to add three tablespoons of vegetable oil to a heated deep non-stick skillet. We're gonna to toss in one and a half red onion, which has been finely chopped and measures about three cups. To that, we're gonna add five cloves and a two inch stick of cinnamon. And we're gonna saute it till the onions turn translucent. To this, we're gonna add half a tablespoon of ginger paste and one tablespoon of garlic paste. And we're gonna add in the salt at this stage, which is gonna help the onions dehydrate faster. And we're going to saute this for a while till the onions turn a lovely golden brown color. For that kick of spice, we're going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one and a half tablespoon Kashmiri chili powder, one teaspoon cumin powder, one teaspoon garam masala, and one fourth teaspoon freshly ground black pepper. We're going to give this a quick saute so that the spices get a chance to mix together. To this we're going to add in the finely chopped pork tenderloin which I got from my local butcher. And now let's season this up with some salt, one and a half tablespoons of sugar and one fourth cup or four tablespoons of vinegar. We're going to saute the pork for a while so that it gets well coated with the spices and absorbs the flavor. Wow, just look at this deep rich color that the pork has got. I like to take it up a notch by adding one fourth cup of port wine but this is totally optional. You could add water or beef stock if you preferred. Once the pork has turned nice and tender, we're gonna take it off the stove. I transferred the filling into a bowl so that it gets a chance to cool while we work on the crusts for the Imper Juniors. We're gonna go in with the muffin tray to make them, but you could even use some tartlet forms if you preferred. It's about half an hour since we've had the dough in the fridge 
and it's got a chance to relax and firm up. Now we're going to preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to start rolling out the dough. We're going to lightly dust the work surface with some all-purpose flour. Cut the dough into two portions and roll out one at a time. Lightly going to dust the rolling pin too. And now let's roll this down. We're going to roll it till it's about three millimeters thick and now we're going to start cutting it out into shape. To cover the base of the muffin tray, you could go in with a four inch cookie cutter and this would work really well. But I want to do a little design and I don't have a five inch cookie cutter so I'm going in with a cake tray which is five inches and I'm going to use this as my template. We're going to place this down and cut around it. And to cover the top, we're going to use a two and three fourth cookie cutter to cut out the shape. We're just going to place this inside the muffin tray and using my little handy dandy tool I'm going to press it down so that it gets a good shape at the bottom. Just press it up the sides. And that's how perfectly it shapes it. We're going to fill it up with some of that delicious filling that we had made. I think two spoonfuls should work. And now we're going to cover it up with the smaller cutout that we made. And for a little bit of fancy, we're going to go in and start crimping up the top. Just putting our finger as a guide and pinching. And now once we've crinkled it, we're going to just press it down and give it a nice seal. To get that nice golden color when they bake, we're going to brush them with an egg wash. For that, we're going to use one egg yolk and we're going to add one tablespoon of milk. Let's beat that together. And now using a pastry brush, we're going to brush it all over so that we get that nice golden color. Now using a fork, we're just going to prick some holes on the top so that when it's in the oven, the steam gets a chance to release. And let's finish them off with a gentle sprinkle of white and black sesame seeds. Let's pop these into the oven and bake them till they turn a nice golden brown for approximately 30 minutes. Oh my goodness, look at that. We're going to allow them to rest in the tray for about five minutes just to cool down a little before we unmold them and enjoy them. I'm so excited. Let's give these Infogenius a taste. They look so delicious. It's hard to resist. I'm going to go ahead and put this one. Wow. So warm and nice. Oh. Mm. Hey guys, and before I go, if you love my recipes and enjoy my videos but haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and if you hit on that bell icon, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit on that like button and leave me your comments below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.